Uh, when you look at a fire like this on a map, we've got a big, large red area here in the middle, and the impression is that that's completely burnt or it's all still really on fire. And the reality is quite a bit different. There's generally a, quite a mosaic pattern. Uh, and we've done a lot of work here. Uh, as of this morning, we're 96% contained around this fire. Uh, and that means that we've been spending a lot of time working around the edges. Um, most of our fires are kind of same like this. This fire has been on the landscape for 34 days. It hasn't had any appreciable movement in nine days. It hasn't had any big movement in, since in 20 days. So, for about a week there, it made really big runs. It made it from east to west, or west to east really fast. Um, and then we were able to get around it. We were able to hold on, held on to it. So what we wanted to do for the folks out there is to get a, a look around at what our firefighters are seeing on the ground and what it looks like from the air. Uh, and hopefully this video will be a little bit something that will give you an idea of what we're seeing on the field. Um, that uh, road system you see there is uh, uh, part of the 3-4 the road system. and. Uh, you can see the old Watson Creek fire scar from 2018. Uh, see where the bootleg burnt into it, and uh, that fire was a good catcher's mitt uh, for us as it burned into it. But uh, one thing you'll start to see is uh, as we move just to the kind of northeast of the Watson Creek fire, uh, we'll move into a, a chunk of uh, ground here in Division Echo, uh, we were able to pick it up direct. Uh, one thing to note is you see very little smoke along the edge of the perimeter. Uh, here in this, in this shot of the video, you can see some interior smoke. Uh, that's just green pockets of, of fuel, unburned fuel that are, that are burning. Uh, the perimeter has been mopped up, uh, it's been in patrol status and, and looks really good. No smokes, uh, no activity for the last couple weeks here in this part. Uh, south of the Government Harvey Road, the 2901 Road, where the fire came across the 28 Road. You can see the 28 Road just there. This is where uh, fire made it push the, the old original log fire. And when it uh, crossed uh, the 2901 Road uh, and moved up in toward the Winter Rim, we were able to uh, use a road system, uh, the 036, and uh, picked it up with some direct line and also indirect. Uh, you're going to see the 036 come down into, this is the 2901 road we're looking at here. That firing operation, we got an east wind and were able to fire that out. Uh, they continued to mop up and patrol that, and, and the status of that is looking really good, as you can see along the perimeter there. Coming around here to the, we just crossed over the, the 2901 road. We're looking uh, to the west in the foreground, in the background you can see the Saikan Marsh. Uh, this is where uh, the original log fire was at, and we kept just working it along the, th the uh, 3219 road, uh, paralleling it, uh, trying to go direct, and we're going to be working, looking back toward the 28 road. This is Round Butte that's in uh, the video frame now, and the fire that, when it made the push up over Round Butte, kind of ran to the top and then flanked around a little bit of the sides. Um, the Alaska team was able, uh, the day after we left or started going indirect, we're now flying around the north side of Round Butte.